Hello, I am Erin Bradley. I teach at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in Bryanston, a suburb of Johannesburg, South Africa. Brian Evan Primary School has introduced Purple Mash as an initiative to promote coding for young children. So these videos also provide a resource to build upon, if not on a more expansive basis for other schools. Creativity is about making things. And Purple Mesh offers you the opportunity to be creative. You can make study resources. And these study resources can be shared with other learners. And it can be helpful in that they can be used to prepare oneself for assessments. So let's try show how this is done. And so other learners can benefit from your creations, your learning resources. Our first example will be making a mind map and it'll be a very simple mind map and we're going to use to connect that one so we're going to launch app to open up the tool and we're going to construct this mind map and i'm just going to choose a blank one click on choose and there's our beginning and we'll type in our header over here nelson mandela grade four history being written tomorrow the grade fours are studying on South Africa's first democratic president. He became South Africa's first democratically elected president in 1994. Here he was indicated to be born in 1918. And this is our header. I'm going to make it red. We could choose whatever color we want, or blue. And we can change the size of the font. You can see that will become bigger. If I click on this Nelson Mandela on the header, you'll see there's a little blue surrounding it and you just drag up to your point and you'll see there's an arrow that moves in the direction of the drag so that's how you'll construct your mind map it's a very simple example then you're going to save it so you're going to go to this red button save and exit and i'm going to save it in my work and i'll just write the name of the file over here nelson mandela and obviously your mind map is going to be a lot more substantial and this is just a test to show you how it's done and I'm saving it. Now there are different ways to share this learning tool, your le learning resources in Purple Mash and one of the ways of doing it is via email so I'm going to show you how to do that. So we go to our emails, one of the ways of doing this is via email so I'm just going to show you how to do that and the way I'll be doing it is more useful for a teacher to do so I'm going into teacher mode but the students you guys won't see it in as I'm seeing it over here and I'm gonna then go onto this compose button and that's where it's gonna allow me to construct my email and then I'm gonna choose who I want to send it to and I'm gonna send it to grade 4c who I'm currently with at the moment so we go click on that drop down and you can see all the different options that allow you to send and I've chosen 4C and I choose pupils and there you have a whole range of different pupils that can receive this email and if I click OK I would have to go to the address book address book I go to pupils and I choose the class it's only filtering the pupils and then go on to the button over there and when I click add on this add button you can see it's brought the whole class in I can now send a resource to the or an email to these learners so I'm going to write check my mind map and each one of you would be able to share your resource with any other member of the class by this way and here I'm going to write a description of this will help you to study and now we need to just add the piece of work that we are sharing so I go to attach work and attach work and you can see there's my Nelson Mandela test and it gives me a little icon of what it looks like it's just a test so it's not complete but you would just add it in as an attachment that way and you can see that's the way you would send it you just press the send button and it'll go through now I just wanted to show you give you another example where you use a hyperlink so this is another way of sharing your work if you go into the work folder you can see you can click on your work there it says Nelson Mandela test in my work folder I'm going to then click on this little button over here and over here you can see there it says send using email on the in the middle of this send using email and there's lots of different ways which I won't get into 
too much. You can also blog and send it via a blog. You can blog about your work. But sending via email is what we've just done. That's another way of doing it. Let's have a look at hyperlinking and sharing resources that way. And we're going to use that Mandela mind map again as our example. You can see the address of the Mandela mind, mind map. I've selected it right in blue at the top. That's the address bar. And I've selected that and we're going to copy that because that is very, very important. That's the address where the file is kept. So we're making a selection of that bit, that bit over there. You go control A or you can select everything in that bar and that's going to be used in my email. So I've made a copy of that by control C and control V. And now I'm selecting it and you can also right click and go copy. And now it's ready for me to email it. The address of this Nelson Mandela file will just go into our email. So you're going to paste it in there. You can right click and paste it. And once it's pasted in, you're ready to just send. You press the send button. There's my little dog indicating that it's gone through. And clicking on the hyperlink when you get the email will allow you to access the resource or you can get it through the works. You can use the address of any file in your email. The address will allow you to access the resource and you can do it with any of the activities in Purple Mash. Purple Mash allows you to be creative and to construct useful learning resources which you can share with your friends and other classmates. We've got all of them. You can see here's a card game. I'm just opening that and I'm going to just choose a four card option. Choose. Can't see the bottom of my file too well. Click on the icon. And here you can write something and I'm just going to write very untidily Mandela. And in a moment, I'll show you how you can type. So you can either write it like that. If you click on the icon over here, you can see the A indicates I can type and we can write something born in 1918 was the year he was born. So I'm just going born in and on this one, we'll write 1918 and I'm just going to click on there and write the date 1918. There are ways of setting it and making it larger. You can see if I go over here, you can make your font much bigger. But I'm just showing an example. So that would go in the cards. So this is a pairing activity where you've got to find the connecting bits of information. And now for Mahatma Gandhi, and we know that means the great soul, Mahatma, the great soul, Mahatma Gandhi, I think it means the great soul. So Mahatma I didn't finish writing Gandhi and we can click over here and that's where we will type the great soul. We know that that's what he was called. So I'm just going to type it again, soul. And those two would go together. Mahatma Gandhi means the great soul. This is part of grade four history. I'm going to save my work, give it an appropriate name. And because it's just an example, I'm calling it something just mundane, game, test. And I just wanted to show you how one would share that with your friends. So we're going to use the blogging section. We're going to just post our resource on a current blog. And I know there's a blog called the General Blog, the Brian Evan General Blog. There it is. And it's got that as its icon loads a while and you'll see Brian Evan general blog. Now, if you want to post, you're going to go on this green plus this little white plus sign in a green button and that'll give you the options. You can title of whatever you're going to post. And here I'm going to just indicate that it's for study purposes in grade four. And you can just describe what it's about. And in the bottom section over here, you can click on that icon to access. And there you can see my card game and it'll give you all of this. I haven't written in the instructions, but if you look and in give instructions, it'll tell a lot more about the activity. Now, anyone can open this, click on play. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Just going to scroll up and find my one. There we go. Play. And you can see Mr. Bradley play. And when you go here, you can interact with the activity, the learning resource, which was creatively made and a study resource in this sense. So you can 
create your own study resources, learning resources, and that can be shared with your friends as well through the blog, as is shown here. This is available to anybody who accesses the blog. That general blog is available to all members of the school. As an administrator, I've given everybody access to that blog. But we do have a grade four blog, which is particular to the grade four studying. And that's some a blog that has been constructed to allow grade fours to post to. So you just got to have a look. It's called grade four study blog. But this is a good example of a simple card game which can be used. So we've basically covered the sending of an email where you just copy the address of the file or the learning resource. The other one was where you attach the learning resource, which is far easier. We also linked in with the going to the shared section, which is the button that shows the earth, the green button, and that gives you the option of sharing in different ways. And then we also can share it via means by means of a blog, as I've shown you above. As you can see, Purple Mash opens up vast possibilities. It allows you to be far more creative in ones engaging with study materials. You can make learning resources, you can be creative and construct them. And you also have that opportunity of sharing with other people. This is very useful for teachers as well as learners, as well as parents who would like to provide the best possibilities for their children using technology.